I've got a professional Lamborghini radio control drift car. Check this out guys, so like all professional radio controlled drift cars, it's rear wheel drive, double wishbone suspension, I don't know anything about these things, but here we got a gyro, check out this steering angle, look at that, plastic chassis, brushless motor system, coil over shock absorbers, not supple. So these tyres are hard plastic and that's there to help it drift around easier. So we're going to get all this body fitted, then we're going to take it for a little rip in here. Then I've got another one here. This one here is an even more professional one. This one comes with a carbon fibre chassis. And this one's got the motor mounted up higher for, I'm guessing, more driftability maybe? More on this later, but for now, let's get this body fitted. Now it does come with his other stuff here. So these are some light buckets. You can put some LED lights in there. It comes with no idea what that is. Some mirrors. So if you want to fully geek out, you can. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut these body posts down so they're not sticking out so far. So if you have a look at the box, you can see all these specifications. So great front steering angle, new suspension, brushless motor, speed controller, gyro. Because this is rear wheel drive, it needs a gyro in there apparently so that you can drift it. Without the gyro apparently, it will just spin around in circles. More specifications specifications here but I'm not going to bore you with all that so I'm just going to put a link down below where you can get all the specifications from all the techno babble and also where you can buy one from and I got my one from A-Main Hobbies this one from A-Main as well let's have a quick look in there before we run the Lambo oh we've got to build it but check this out there's the carbon fibre chassis this one's a more professional version and I haven't got time to build it so I'm just going to give it to my mate Vinny and see what he can do with it so then he can build it and then we can go drifting together Vinny! What's going on? I got a present for you. Alright, come over now. Alright, back. So while we're waiting for Vinny, let's give this one a quick whip. Oh my god, check out that steering travel. Servo is fast as well. Oh look, check this out. Here you can see the gyro working. upgrades that you can get for it. Anyway, let's see what this is all about. <laughs> Look at that. It's quite easy actually. What? Complete beginner. Look at that. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I think we need some obstacles. <laughs> We're gonna take it to a pop-up club in a minute. Hold tight. Oh look, there he is. <laughs> there he is. You tell him he gets a free tidy straight over. <laughs> what, what we got? Drift car for Vinny. Ooh, it's uh, my one. I've got a Lambo. Do you want a cuddle? I've got to build it. Yep, you got oh, to build it. Your one's the yours already. Your one's the pro version with carbon fibre. Cool. My one is just a normal budget one. It's not budget. It's just ready to run, isn't it? Vinny's gonna build it with his choice of electronics. Then we're gonna have a little play in here, and then we're gonna go to a professional drifting racing club and see how we get on there. What's that old jalopy? That's a Lambo. <laughs> I think we've got real brake this Yeah, yeah. Look at that. The geeky level of that has got to be getting onto Hornby level, hasn't it? That's it, yeah. <laughs> So Vinny took it home to build it with some very professional camera skills. Few months later, look at that, Vinny's got it ready. <laughs> Finally. Go on, let's have a little look what you've done. There she is, all ready to rip. Carbon fibre chassis. What might have you gone for? Airs motor. Some, yeah, that's the servo I gave you, isn't it? Yep. Some were servoed up. What's the idea of this motor being so high up? No idea. Is that to make it handle worse? Drifter thing, you gotta make it handle worse, yeah. All right, so what we gotta do, we're gonna build a little drift track in here. And then, Vinny's got us lined up with a local drift club, isn't it? We have indeed. Yeah, I don't know much about it, Vinny does. We're gonna have a quick practice in here, then we're gonna get going. So here we got Vinny's masterpiece. Battery in, and then let's go rip and practice. Well, I've got some steering lock in it, let's lock. 
Jesus, look at that. It's like 90 degrees. Best control. <laughs> That's my joke. That's not fair. <laughs> Give that a second. <laughs> 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 so now that the pests are dealt with, we can go and play. Oh, oh, oh. Club viewers are going to get bored of watching this. 4S, 8S, we're going drifting. We've got more crew in the house. So how much is that one worth? About 1200 Oh! Wow, that's more than my car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's more than the Fiesta. <laughs> and how much is that one worth? Not a lot. It's a 100 quid roller. Retail. So 8S has got a cheap one. Yeah. 4S has got an expensive one. Yeah. Oh, what's, what's Charlie got? The A86. It's a Secura D5. Oh, I don't know Look what that, that is. Cheap one. There we go, look, professionalism. <laughs> Eight S is all excited. Now. Four S is excited. Yeah, look what he's done. Look at the back of his neck. Oh, look at that. He's all mad. He's father proud. <laughs> Six hours in the chair. Oh. Massive shout out to West Suffolk Drift for a lovely little club they got going on here. Here comes Vinny. Oh, where do you get your license from? Cornflake packet. So to start off with, while we get the hang of it, there was a lot of crashing going on. What are you doing, Mitch? Trim out the arches so I can actually steer. Can we have a little look inside? So oh, this is a £1,200 masterpiece. It is indeed. Aluminium everywhere, carbon fibre everywhere. Yep, very little plastic on it. Rear wheel drive. Basically everything can be upgraded, has been. Can be a four wheel drive. Can it? Because you have, you have the front bulkhead and you can run the uh, prop shaft all the way through there. You ready, Mitch? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'll you. I've been wondering what has happened to As time went on, we got better and better and better and we almost look quite professional. I don't know, what do you guys reckon? Give me a note down below in the comments.
So some of the lovely people at the West Suffolk Drift Club, they let me have a go on their cars, and they had a lot more power than this one. Surprisingly, for a ready-to-run car, it went really well, and a lot of people were sort of commenting of how well it actually went for a ready-to-run platform. The good thing is, when you first get into this hobby, you don't really know what you're doing. So if you get a ready-to-run car, it's all set up from the factory, then you know that the car's going perfect, and all you've got to do is hone your driving skills. If you want to know where you can get this one from, and Vinny's car, link down below.